the only time these people will ever be fucking fail. And they were nothing but evil to me and I fought them. And honestly, I do not regret copyright striking those videos. So everyone else can honestly, seriously, and I'm saying this wholeheartedly, can go fuck themselves. I do not give a shit. And I will not address anybody who is making titles about me from here on out for fucking views. Because they're shady, they're liars. Most of these fucking YouTubers that are talking shit, they're acting all big. I guarantee you they would put their subscribers at risk. They will always manipulate. They will always twist things. But I do have a lawyer and I believe that my claim was truthful and I will fight it to the bitter freaking end. So I don't care. <laughs> the tea is hot girl the tea is pippin oh this is rich this tea is pippin it is piping up in here get your tea kettles boiling i mean this is about to explode from all the pressure boom because it is so hot i'm actually sweating for how hot <laughs> how steamy it is in this room you guys the tea is on fire. And we're gonna address what Veronica Wang did on her Instagram last night. Stephanie. Stephanie Sue. They could have messaged me. Don't treat your subscribers like they're a bunch of sheep. I will never. If I were you, Stephanie Sue, having this supposed friend put you on blast. Sass ASMR. She messaged me and she. And use you as a scapegoat. And I fought them. Who do you think you are? The Queen of England? Merry effing Christmas. Sit down. Let me tell you, this is not acceptable. But a few of you are saying, Nick, why are you? speaking out let me just say imagine a world where nobody got involved i know we live in a, in a time where everything's about ourselves me 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 if it doesn't involve my job my income my food my kids my school it's none of my business but imagine a world where everyone had that amount of selfishness and we can all be really selfish i know i'm selfish but everyone gets to choose what they support publicly privately that's the nature of being a human being i decided to take a stance on this because number one not only was it illegal i was reliving everything i went through over the course of my time being a YouTuber, where people falsified legal claims against me in hopes to keep me quiet. Those of you that saw my original video, you know that I was really respectful about it. I don't hate Veronica. I don't want you to go and hate on her. They're painting me to be this horrible person. Again, I don't hate her. So Veronica's known for noodles. Uh, we both have that appreciation. I love watching her eat noodles. I made effort in the beginning and the middle and the end to reiterate I don't hate her. I don't condone hate. I don't hate her at all. Also, she's gorgeous and so pretty. Because I love having her part of the mukbang community. She's inspired me a lot with the noodles, specifically. I really do hope Veronica just apologizes. Again, it really hits close to heart. Listen, I just want to clear my name from the slander that was said. I'm stating my opinion because I felt what she did was wrong. And I've gone through this path where people have lied and filed false legal claims against me because they didn't like my opinion and jeopardize my voice on this platform that is beautifully created for all of us to share. It really makes me upset, and I feel like people should be aware, and we're gonna talk about it, you guys. I mean, when you make posts like this, Veronica, and you say that you're gonna debunk <laughs> what was said, usually that entails coming with receipts coming with evidence. There were no receipts, there was no evidence, there were no screenshots, there was nothing of that. Not even a police report. Screaming at the camera at your kitchen at two in the morning is not providing evidence. Sorry to say, but it's really not. She just manipulated everyone to think that I created this drama, I have no place to speak up. What she did affects all YouTubers. Everyone who shares this platform is affected by this because when you abuse or misuse or take a tool put in place for our protection and use it wrongfully so to your advantage, it undermines and decreases the value of that protection. Okay? It affects all of us. And she claimed I need views. Veronica. I know you might not like what I said. <clears throat> 
I don't need you for views. We have the same amount of subscribers. I have over a million followers and I posted this video on my new channel that barely has 100K to let my closest supporters know. I wasn't going to blast you on my main channel to a million people. I chose to do it on my second channel. On top of that, I actually have way more views than you. I mean, I'm not saying it to brag. 100 million more people have watched me than you. It's very easy to get wrapped up in your emotions and say I used you for views, but at the end of the day, numbers don't lie. You do. So let me back up just a little bit. We're gonna make it 60 seconds. I'm just gonna wrap up everything that took place. So there's a new channel on the block called Shook Bang, Shook Bang. And what this guy does, he's anonymous. Basically he takes pre-existing clips on the internet of ASMR, of mukbang, of eating shows. And what he or she does is rearranges them into new compilations. It's a parody, a skit. He made a few about Veronica. I thought they literally brought a new perspective to the table and made everyone laugh. And if anything, gave them a lot more views because everyone started like, you know, enjoying their content more. Well, Veronica comes along. She sees these parodies made about her and she leaves a few comments saying this was really funny Her exact words was I can't wait to see more compilations You know the drama channels the the tea channels about the beauty gurus Do you think they um, have problems with that? They laugh about literally if you watch their videos There's one video of Ricky Dillon and Tana Mojo and they're like ha 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 that um, Tana Mojo line for two minutes straight They joke about it if anything it brings them together as creators because they can have a nice laugh because let's face it It's a harsh world out there so the tea is, she left those comments, and a few days later, she got them taken down. And she didn't just get them taken down, she filed a legal pursuit. And I think people don't understand the ramifications of that. When that happens, and you don't appeal or you don't know how, um, it basically enters into a lawsuit. It's telling YouTube, this is a lawsuit. I own this, and it's not protected by the Fair Use Law, Section 107 of the Fair Use Act of 1976. Okay, the reason why this is such a big deal is because it's not just saying, oh, delete, or oh, I don't like it. It's a legal claim. Now. The problem is, she had like five other options. Privacy complaint, harassment claim, bullying claim, delete comments, speak to her manager. She also has a free Google advisor, which all people who have more than, I think 200K subs get for free. They work for us free of charge. And they're literally, there's a whole team of lawyers. Also creator support at youtube.com. They also speak to you about all this stuff. Um, the problem is, instead of taking all those options, she chose the legal route. And the worst part about, about it is, it was false. It was a lie. Because parodies, reactions, compilations, skits are perfectly legal on YouTube because they're protected by the Fair Use Act. And it basically says, if there's modifications and you're using it for entertainment, education, analysis, or just offering your critique and criticism, that's perfectly fair game because it's on a website that doesn't belong to you. I mean, this is not veronicawing.com. In the terms of service, they clearly state this. So, she lied and got the videos taken down. Now the channel, as of now, it has three strikes and all the videos are gone. So I made a video defending this guy because I was like, this has happened to me. I almost lost my whole channel because of false claims. And I was scared out of my mind. I was literally crying in bed. Someone was trying to silence me of my opinion because they didn't like me. So I made a video basically standing up for this guy because no one else was standing up for him. This is where we're at. This is what has led up to this point in time. Hopefully it was easy to follow along with. If not, I'm sorry. Now. Veronica last night went on Instagram and she ranted, she dragged me, she dragged Shukbunk, and more importantly, she dragged anyone who disagreed with her. She basically said, if you don't agree with me, you can F yourself. That's, that was the implications and actually the, the exact words that came out of her mouth, F you. So I think this is just totally unacceptable. It's like 30 minutes long or something like that. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing and respond to the whole thing because it's just gonna be too much and the video will be three hours long. I'm just gonna take out the key points that really bothered me that I would like to address her and I just ignored it because we knew like that this it, like the videos were bullshit and we were friends so we just ignored it we didn't care exactly yay I'm glad that you understand that and you guys both laughed about it and you didn't care and that you, it didn't bother you I'm actually glad that you say this was your honest reaction about it I'm really happy because that's what parodies are meant to do this channel shook bung was created on me and Stephanie's video of them saying that Stephanie and I weren't like friends and stuff or like I was being like super evil and like was really greedy with the food and stuff. I just want to make a disclaimer. Shukbang, the creator of this channel, didn't call her greedy, didn't call her evil. I, the video's down so you can't see for yourself, but 
It kind of went like this. They were words by their heads. So Stephanie was eating noodles and Veronica's over here saying, oh yeah, I want some too. And Stephanie's like, well, you don't share with me. And Veronica's like, I know because I'm hungry. Okay, Shukbang didn't call her evil and greedy. I mean, he could have, and it still would have been protected by fair speech and fair use, the First Amendment, obviously. And if that's not bullying to disagree with someone and think that they're greedy. But he didn't even say that. This was actually one of the nicest hate videos I've ever seen about a person. And it was left to the viewer's interpretation. Shukbang didn't call her those things. Some viewers who saw the video came to that conclusion. When it was actually the complete opposite, like, and Stephanie said that she's gonna talk about this in one of her videos, but, oh, good. like, I was the one, like, I bought a bunch of food, I paid for all the food, I left all the food at Stephanie's house, like, I was the one that reminds Stephanie to, like, offer her fiancé food, like, and everyone was saying literally the complete opposite. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what a parody is. There's this great TV show I love called Saturday Night Live. Now, they take everything that happens in politics and with pop stars, anything like super trending in the headlines, and they make their own twist on it. All the YouTubers that have messaged me have agreed and have been on my side. There's only been, I think, about two YouTubers who have gone completely against me. Okay, that's quite a thing to state. That's quite a thing to state that all the YouTubers are on your side except for two. I mean, Hungry Fat Chick was in that video. Um, I was in that video. Honey Eats was in that video. Um, Candy K was in that video. Pink ASMR was in the channel. Actually, there was like 15 Korean mukbangers who got parodies made about them too. Are you saying they all messaged you and said, we support you flagging this channel illegally? That's quite a thing to state. I'm just throwing that out there quite a thing to state. But all the other YouTubers have messaged me and they've all agreed that this channel was had very light-hearted videos for other people, but on my videos they went in on me and actually Girl, I'm sorry. They did not go on in. A video about you slurping noodles and looking into the viewfinder is not hate. Like I said before, even if it, it, it was hateful, that's no right for you to flag it down. Here's an example of videos made about me. Boom. And another one, boom. Actually, one just made like three weeks ago. This one, boom. They called me a racist and a pedophile and all this manipulation. Like, all of these things. I have no legal right to shut down their opinion and their parodies and their compilations. That is against the law. And I'm telling you, as someone who gets more hate than any other mukbanger, that was not hateful. They, they did not go in on you harshly. You don't know what that's like, so please. You know, it was just completely opposite of what these videos were portraying. And I was like, this is hilarious. Her words, not mine. Hilarious. I honestly didn't think there would be more because I didn't think people would be able to find more. Yes, girl. Lo and behold, there will be more than one thing about you that people don't like. I decided that I was going to take a stance for myself because anytime I've been in a situation where someone's bullied me, I have done one thing and one thing only, which is stood up for myself. You were not bullied. Shukbank did not bully you. When videos were made about you and the way in which you slurp your noodles, or the way in which you look at yourself in the viewfinder, that is not bullying. Well, you know, if anyone's gonna be allowed to make fun of me, it's gonna be me. No one else is allowed to laugh at you except for yourself? but I'm not okay with people sending death threats. If you truly got death threats, what does a person do? They file a police report. They start an investigation. They call the local authorities. Where's your police report? You know, are there stalkers? Like, what extreme measures were taken? Where are those receipts? Other than someone called Barbie2522 with no profiles. People who leave comments like that are not actual looking to seek out harm. You know, it's called trolls. It's called haters. Every single YouTuber gets them. Think of the massive, massive amount of hate Jeffree Star gets. Think of the massive, massive amount of hate Trisha Paytas gets. Think of all the stuff I get, like actual terrible videos. Um, we're not taking their channel down and cutting off their voice box. We're not filing lawsuits against them. We just say, people will have their opinion. If you truly felt you were at risk, there would be police reports, there would be an investigative service, there would be a contacting the authorities. There would have been taking legal appropriate measures 
to show that you truly felt that you were at risk. But people do not have the right to say I'm an evil person or I'm a hypocrite for changing my mind on people sending me crazy messages and deciding that I don't like something anymore. I hate to burst your bubble, but people do have the right to voice their opinion. I mean, I could have the most fabulous video in the world according to my perspective. The food could be perfect, the editing could be spectacular, it could be flawless and seamless. And there will always be people who don't like it. If they think I'm stupid, they have a right to voice that. I don't know what world she lives in where she feels like people don't have a right to have feelings that don't align with hers. And if they're going to blame anyone for that channel getting taken down, they need to blame themselves because they are the reason. Veronica Wang says it's your fault that she decided to illegally strike down a channel. Because you voiced your opinion, it's your fault because you made her do it. She's not responsible for her actions. You are. And if they're going to blame anyone for that channel getting taken down, they need to blame themselves because they are the reason. <laughs> Please continue. So even though the channel wants to blame me and these other YouTubers, ultimately the channel should have made more of an effort to stop their subscribers from doing those things or completely switched up the narrative. This is ridiculous, Veronica. A YouTuber is not legally, ethically, or morally responsible for the way in which thousands and thousands of people all around the world perceive their content. If they receive it in a good way or a negative way, that is their prerogative. That is not my fault that they didn't like it. That's not my fault that they loved it. Thinking about Saturday Night Live and all the skits they do. Imagine if Hillary Clinton sued Saturday Night Live because she got all these comments made about her on Facebook because they saw Saturday Night Live skits and they thought it was funny. Do you honestly think this would hold up in court? Because if I'm getting crazy messages like that, I'm allowed to change my mind. Again, you're allowed to change your mind, but you chose the wrong way to deal with it. So SAS ASMR and I were talking about this. Um, she messaged me and she told me, cause she was like, Veronica, these videos are so unfair. You are such a great person. They do not have the right to talk about you this way. I don't know why she's bringing SAS ASMR into what she did, but okay, she is. And you told her, well, according to Veronica, to take a false legal action. What is wrong with these people? Like, and the fucked up part is, is that me and Stephanie actually for a second almost stopped being friends because of our subscribers. Now, wait a minute. I don't believe that. I think you're lying because you just told us that you laughed about it. I was like, this is hilarious. You didn't even care. And we were friends, so we just ignored it. We didn't care. You said it didn't actually bother you because you thought it was funny. Her and I just ignored it. I found it funny. Now, in the same breath, you're saying that it almost ended your friendship. How could it be both? We were friends, so we just ignored it. We didn't care. Almost stopped being friends. We were friends, so we just ignored it. We didn't care. Almost stopped being friends, completely ripping me and Stephanie apart. Now, I find that to be BS. If you truly have a great relationship with someone, you don't let comments on a YouTube video determine the value of your friendship. And the funny thing is, is this this channel um, doesn't even bring up the fact that SAS already cl copyrighted claimed a video before I even claimed mine. They just completely acted like it was just me. And people, and you know what? And the um, This is just too much everyone else's fault but me. Pulling Stephanie into this, pulling SAS ASMR into this. Again, someone could have told me that it's okay to masturbate on the subway. Do you think if I go ahead and do that without like thinking through first that they should be responsible because they told me? Like, you are constantly getting information in and out of your head 24-7. They are not responsible for what you choose to act on. So, I copyrighted the videos going back. I was going to listen to Sass and copyright the videos. And I was like, you know what, this is, this is it. Again, again, why is she blaming other people? Oh my god. Now, it's YouTube's responsibility to see whether or not, well, it's not the responsibility, but the way that the copyrights work is YouTube will take a look at it and see whether or not they agree with the copyright. That's not true. This is why Phil DeFranco and Shane Dawson have made so many videos about this. You guys are all well aware of this. I know she is too. She's trying to pull wool over everyone's eyes. YouTube decided that this was fine. YouTube has a broken copyright system. YouTube does not get involved until a lawsuit is shown. So what you do is flag someone's video. You say that they took your copyright. YouTube's automated system will take it down immediately. Then they send a message to the person whose video just got taken down and say, hey, 
you. You are entering a lawsuit. If you would like to appeal this, this is what you do. They do, no one looks at it, no one decides for you until that person decides to appeal it. Now people are throwing th throwing the words like legal around or illegal around and the fact of the matter is is that in most of these, if you look at all the popular tea spill channels, they completely redo the content. She is lying out of both ends of her mouth. First she says that the reason she's so upset is because the narrative about her and Stephanie was so false how far away from the truth it actually was like the videos were bullshit saying that stephanie and i weren't like friends and stuff when it was actually the complete opposite everyone was saying literally the complete opposite now she's saying that a true parody takes something and makes it completely different yes shook bong did make something completely different but you're saying that implying that he didn't. If you look at all the popular tea spill channels, they completely redo the content. When five minutes ago you said that he did. You know, it was just completely opposite what these videos were portraying, when it was actually the complete opposite. How can it be both? They discuss it in words. Yeah, as far as I know, there were lots of words to read. And they use very brief clips of the actual content they're talking about. I think your video was called Veronica looking at herself for two minutes. Out of a 35 minute mukbang, they took two. That's not brief enough? So, did I do anything illegal? No. Are other YouTubers right now saying I, some YouTubers saying I did it illegal and using this to her advantage to make, get views? Hell yes. For me, simply stating the law and showing the receipts of what fair use means, I'm taking advantage of a situation. Now, with that being said, everything that's happened with this channel getting shut down, they should have took extra steps to make sure that they didn't get shut down. They did not get shut down because you won. They got shut down because they have yet to appeal your strikes. This is what Philip DeFranco, Shane Dawson, I think Keemstar has talked about it a few times. This is what makes us YouTubers so upset when people misuse the copyright system. When you make those appeals, you have to include your legal name, you have to include your address, where you reside associated with your Google AdSense account. That's how you're making money. So stop manipulating your viewers into believing that YouTube's on your side and took down the channel when you know for darn certainty that they have not acted yet because he failed to appeal. They could have messaged me, Sass, Stephanie, or anyone at any time, but everyone's saying that we should have messaged them. This channel could have messaged us at any single time to talk things out, and they never took that route. Who do you think you are? The Queen of England, where people have to ask permission to have an opinion about you? There is no reason in this world why people have to ask for your approval. Everyone still said I should have messaged them. Ample opportunities to message me, to message Sass, to message Stephanie, to message all the other content creators, and they never did. I don't know, again, why she keeps bringing Stephanie and Sass into this if they want to speak for themselves they can do that but it just feels like she needs to hold on to these other youtubers who are very big and have lots of subscribers as a means to justify what she did secondly you do not need to bless someone or to grant them allowance a license to have an opinion about you be it nasty be it critical be it funny like Shook Bank's actual videos. These subscribers who have no idea who even this person is, this person could literally be the worst human being on the face of the planet and they have no fucking idea because they don't even know who the creator is. Well, talk about false narratives, girl. You sure get all hot and steamy when people do it about you. But we're talking about a false narrative. I.e. imaginary conversations you have in your head with Stephanie Sue while eating noodles. Yet you're this quick to throw out some implications about Shukbang and painting him as the worst possible person. Now, I don't know about you. What do you think of? Terrorist? Rapist? Molester? You know, a criminal, someone who murders, I mean, as she said, the worst person on earth. How alarming that false narratives are so earth shattering to you that brings you to the point where you need to file false illegal claims against a person who's not responsible for what people say because of it, yet you're also this quick to put out false narratives about others as well. Have it both ways. If you're the Queen of England, I guess you can. More tea? 
people that actually put their faces out there and their livelihoods out there against someone that doesn't even put their fucking face out? Have you ever read the newspaper? Do you know how many people? It's called the opinion section written by anonymous writers. I think J.K. Rowling's, you know, the author of the Harry Potter series, didn't disclose that she was a woman because she was afraid that people would discredit her for being a woman. I mean, there are so many great artists, commentators, comedians, or people who just like to make a skit who prefer to remain anonymous. That does not devalue their perspective. And the fact that you're saying it is, is problematic. Stephanie, Sass, me, and all of us YouTubers who have been put on that channel, we are all for each other. We all believe that our content was stolen. Well, Stephanie Sue, you know, this is rather alarming because yesterday she had left a comment supporting the video. In fact, she responded to people having a good laugh about the content. If anything, seems to be encouraging it by leaving supporting comments. Does not seem like she's upset with it. Does not seem like she finds it a problem. Yet Veronica is saying that Stephanie Sue is actually on her side. Stephanie Sue is actually believing that this footage is stolen to the point where she's filing a legal claim against an innocent person. Stephanie, we all believe that our content was stolen. Stephanie, we all believe that if this channel wanted to take a different direction, they could have messaged us, not the other way around. Either Stephanie Sue is lying to her followers that she thinks they're a nice laugh, or she's lying to you, Veronica, also are encouraging striking down a channel. How can it be both? Either Stephanie's lying or you're lying. And if I were you, Stephanie Sue, having this supposed friend put you on blast and use you as a scapegoat and blame your advice for her actions and disclose it in front of 100,000 people on Instagram. If I were you, I'd be rather concerned. You cannot steal someone's content, make fun of them, and then expect them to message you first. People have to get permission from her, her stamp of approval, that they're allowed to talk about her. What, like, what kind of insanity is that? Like, what world are these people living in? You know, at this point in time, Veronica, I'm asking myself the same thing. Instagram doesn't even fucking pay their creators. Like, what the fuck is good with, like, Instagram can get sponsorships, but it's not even like YouTube. YouTube pays their creators. YouTube is a positive environment. I'm sorry, but the notion that YouTube is only for positivity is not true. YouTube is a space where there is no control. You aren't binded by your corporate rules. You aren't filtered through a company or a brand. People come to YouTube for real people, which usually means real thoughts. Real thoughts are not always smiles and rainbows. The notion that YouTube is only for positivity is not accurate. I can't tell you how many great great content there is on YouTube that is serious, that is sad, that is dramatic, that debunks a lot of myths in this society. I'm sorry, but YouTube is not only going to be the Veronica Wang wagon. It's not. YouTube is just such a great space and I go to it to relieve stress. I go to it to relieve anxiety. For a lot of people, that's having a nice laugh. Laughing at things that are make-believe. And is that I open up my subscribers to negativity. That's the only thing. I'm sorry, I hate to see you cry, but I also hate for you to believe that your subscribers have never seen something negative on the internet until this parody was made about you. Mommy Tang, when I first started YouTube, she told me, Nick, the viewers are always smarter than you. Don't treat your subscribers like they're a bunch of sheep that don't have minds of their own and that have never been subjected to a, co a compilation before. That is just so ignorant. I, I mean, I get that you're crying, but I don't understand why. The only person who should be crying right now is Shook Bank because you destroyed his channel. Merry effing Christmas to you. I do not regret copyright striking those videos. I do not regret standing up for myself. And I will not address anybody who is making titles about me from here on out for fucking views. Because they're shady, they're liars, and they're painting me to be this horrible person when I do nothing except spread love every single day of my life. I spread love to my family, I spread love to my friends, and I try my best to spread love. Makes me think of the M Manny MUA apology where he went into this big spiel about how he's a good person, he prays before bed, he donates to charities, he loves his family. It's like that's not how you get people to forgive you by saying that you're such a good person. When you talk about your mistake, you talk about your mistake. Blaming it on Stephanie, blaming it on Sass, and saying that I'm a liar because I 
talked about the facts, you have not shown one receipt. You haven't shown a police report. You haven't shown these supposed death threats that have led, led you to contact the authorities. You have not shown your receipts speaking to your Google advisor and your manager who may or may not have encouraged you to lie when filing a legal claim. There's been no receipts to come out of your end. I have not called you one single name. That doesn't make me shady. I feel that I was really nice about it and I've been respectful this whole entire time. Everyone else can honestly, seriously, and I'm saying this wholeheartedly, can go fuck themselves. I do not give a shit, man. Like, you're gonna try to twist my shit around? I have been nothing but loving and caring. I there was nothing loving and caring about taking down someone's channel because they used a few of your clips. How is that loving and caring? You telling your supporters that they can F themselves because they don't agree with your mistake? is just so twisted and manipulative. I just, I have no more words. I really have no more words. So again, guys, everyone else can go fuck themselves. If I made a mistake, I don't say to everyone watching, well, it's your fault that you feel that way. What, whatever money I make, I spend majority of it filling up my retainer to my lawyer because I have had I spent the last year fighting a sponsorship that wanted me to promote them and I spent so much money so I would never have to promote them to my subscribers and I'm telling you right now most of these fucking YouTubers that are talking shit they're acting all big I guarantee you they would put their uh you their uh subscribers at risk for a fucking promotion and I just spent the last year fighting it and lawyering it up so I would never have to put my subscribers through that. I personally take offense to that because I've done plenty of sponsorships. I've never put my subscribers at risk for the things that I've shouted out. Apps, clothing line, websites to get savings for shopping, a new water bottle. I mean, I have never put people at risk. And to imply that those who are speaking about you, which really, let's be honest, is only me. I haven't seen any other mukbanger make a video to you. Um, to imply that I put my subscribers at risk is just downright offensive because I've never done that. I never planned to. If these people want to try to um, go against my copyright infringement, they're allowed to, but I do have a lawyer and I believe that my claim was truthful and I will fight it to the bitter freaking end. So I don't care. There's a lot of things that they should have done differently and that's it. I just think it's ridiculous. Like, wow, what is wrong with the mukbang community where we can't have a laugh? I mean, I guarantee if Trisha did this, if Jeffrey did this, if Shane did this, they would end their own careers. And Veronica, if you're watching this, I don't appreciate the things that you're saying about me. I mean, I made a video defending someone and I came with the receipts. You blasted me on Instagram and called me fake and lying and shady. I have not lied about anything. I have come with evidence to back up what I say. And I also come with personal experience because I've had people like you try to silence me in the past as well. But now that she's blaming all of her subscribers for the way they feel is just so effed up. I would never do that. You know, I have a million subscribers too and I have not let my ego get that big. If my ego ever gets that big, please say straight up to me, Nick, you gotta take it down a notch. I hope I never become like that. The tea is gone. I drank it all. But I am starving. It is time for a mukbang. I'm craving like some fried chicken or something. <laughs> My mouth is dry. Talk, 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 talk. Well, anyways, um, thanks for watching. Again, I don't condone hatred. I don't think you should go and hate on her. But I think you should exercise your privilege, privilege of having a different opinion. And you should let her know. Again, I would hope that someone p would put me in check if I ever let my head get that big because I have a million followers. I hope people do that to me as well. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna post a new mukbang on this channel tomorrow. Bye.